So we know that this is going to be our A, our B, and our C. We're going to plug it into this. So we have X equals negative B, so negative 2 plus or minus 2 times A, which is our negative 3. And now that we have everything plugged in, we will go ahead and solve for X. Of 2 to the square root of 2, so 2 times 2, which is 4, minus, so now 4 times 3 times 2 is giving us positive 24. So 4 plus 24 all over 2 times negative 3, which gives us negative 6. X equals negative 2 plus the square root of 28 minus the square root of 28 all over 6, negative 6, which in this case, the negatives cancel each other out. So our actual full answer could be all over positive 6.